Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. Okay, guys, we got a special delivery today from Motion Raceworks. We got our coil brackets for the Motion Raceworks valve covers, which we originally had on this engine, and Motion sells so many dang parts, they were actually back ordered on the coil brackets. So we ended up putting these Harding uh, Motorsport valve covers on, but we are gonna go switch over to the Motion ones uh, for this truck. So that way we'll get these back on there. And I like them because they're black. These are these are great valve covers, but we had a bare finish on these for another build. And uh, we're gonna actually have these painted for the next truck that's coming in, uh, Zeus Bronze Metallic. So that'll be a good valve cover for that. But we'll get these uh, black motion ones on. They look nice. They got a really good finish on these valve covers. And uh, another cool thing about them is they have uh, adjustments where you can slide the coils forward or reverse uh, depend on you know if you got anything in the way on your uh, car and these are also for LS and LT valve covers the coil brackets anyways so getting those swapped over right now we'll be back to black I was telling Steve earlier I was thinking about pulling off that uh, meth tank and painting it black somehow because it's like <laughs> everything's black except for the brake reservoir and then that big old uh, which is our methanol tank. It used to be a coolant overflow. And I also need to paint this heat exchanger black in the front too, Steve. That's <laughs> It sticks out like a sore thumb in pictures. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, touch-ups. getting the ZR1500 ready for tomorrow. We are going to be throwing this thing on the dyno. And Just Tune is going to be uh, hitting the keyboard, seeing how much power we can make with this thing. It's going to have uh, E85 in it does have a dual or no a single nozzle alki control kit on there so we're hoping it's got enough fuel system if not we'll have to swap out the injectors for some id 1050s that we have but i think it'll be fine honestly what's up guys welcome to the channel today we are basically ready to tune the zr 1500 truck this is the lt5 swapped 94 silverado that we did uh, I love the reaction from y'all. It's it's been getting a lot of a lot of reactions on social media, so appreciate it, guys. But uh, it's a 10-speed truck, LT5, and we did a full frame off restoration on this truck. It's beautiful, but outside still pretty factory looking. It's got a full complete factory paint job on it still. It was a pretty low mile truck when we got it. Uh, but right now we're gonna take it for a spin. Got to grab some Chick Fil A before we start tuning on the truck. So. Gonna drive the truck Chick-fil-A and then uh, we're gonna go to Just Tune and get this thing tuned. Here's the truck here, guys, in case you missed it on some of the other videos. She's a beaut though. But we're gonna run up, grab some lunch here real quick, and then head on over to Just Tune. Still have all the wiring out over here right now just uh so we can make sure everything goes good with the tune and then we'll get all that cleaned up when we get back from uh, getting this thing tuned good old American Chevrolet pickup truck we did get all the gauges working good got the speedometer got the tack everything's programmable the cool thing about this Dakota get uh, digital dash is um, they have an app and it Bluetooth to the module in the for the wiring on the cluster and uh, you can go through and change the colors you can program your gauges everything right on your app on your phone which is pretty damn cool honestly Still got some salt on the roads here from the snow we had uh, a couple days ago. It sucked too because last week it was 70 degrees and <laughs> the roads were starting to clean off. And then we had a really good rain on uh, Sunday, washed a lot of the salt off. And then, of course, uh, that rain turned into snow Sunday night. 
and it was just enough to where they had to go salt the roads again. So here we are, Kansas City, Missouri in the winter time. Well, there goes Harry. Still got some codes to delete out of there. That's why that check engine light's going off on us. Really just put a startup tune in this truck to make it idle and drive around good. That way we could drive it and put a few miles on it. But so far so good. Steve did a old school wire alignment and it's pretty damn good. <laughs> the teal truck, the wheel was all the way 180'd on us when we got done with it. So this one's definitely uh, light years ahead of that truck for the first drive. the dyno right now and we got the ZR1500 strapped down. We're going to upload all the tunes out of the computers that are in it right now and then uh, get to work.
dyno the truck, uh, basically we can't have the paddles hooked up because the HP tuners is data logging. The paddles don't work unless the, the Dakota deals in the OBD2 port. So he's having to get up to about 85 miles an hour and then flooring it. Well, he doesn't want to go too fast because, well, it's a dyno with the truck drive shaft and stuff. He's just, he's just a little worried that the drive shaft could break and I, I could understand that. So we're only dynoing in fifth gear, but it's making still really, really, really good power. Uh, the fueling's all on, everything's good, it's shifting good. Uh, so we're really happy with that. But yeah, so uh, we're gonna let it cool down and do a couple more pulls here, but so far, ZR1500 is looking really good. The LT5 is super strong. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's tuning. Basically, what we're having issues with, it's still making, I mean, it made it like 870 horsepower last pull uh, in fifth gear. So seventh gear is the one-to-one, -one. fifth gear is not. So it's probably gonna lose probably 80 horsepower just with that. So we're pretty happy with that. But uh, basically what's happened is the throttle's closing a little bit. It's got a bypass deal from Speartech for the LT5 blower. Um, and whenever the throttle's closing, the bypass valve's closing too, so it's actually losing a little bit of boost there. So still, even with all those problems, it's still making just insane power. Uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and close the dyno session today with that. We're gonna call Spear Tech, maybe see if they have any ideas on the throttle closing, call a couple other people, see if they have any ideas. But uh, so far, so good. ZR1500 is making some serious steam on the dyno. Buy this truck, do you miss your red truck? I don't have the money, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you what do you think of the the truck? Turned out pretty good. Yeah. No, I like it a lot. I just there's some bugs to work out on it, but I think yeah. it'll be good. There's a lot of stuff going on with it. I mean, well, it's like everything you bring me. It's everything. It's I like know. Got five different computers on it and uh, <laughs> four different types of fuel. And, but we always make it work. Yeah. Yeah. After a while, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always learning. Yeah. Well, I thought it, I thought it did pretty good for the first time on the Dino Harry. Shifts good. Shifts really good. Makes good power. Yep. And it drives good. Yeah. So I haven't been in it yet. But. Oh, yeah. It, it drives really good, Harry. You'll be impressed. Hell yeah. All right. Now we're off to KC detailing. Got to get it all shined up for TX2K. Look nice. Yeah. Yep. It's a little dusty. Oh, yeah. It's been sitting for a while. It's probably never had a wax, probably since like 2005. It's been a little bit. <laughs> we got our. Uh, Wiper blade arms getting powder coated black, guys. That's why I don't have any wiper blades on it. So I don't want to hear that there's no wiper blades, so you can't drive it every day. Yeah, right. <laughs>